All right, good evening, everybody. I'm Riley. And I'm Carrie, and we're working with the Bargains team. They're a startup uh, in here, in, uh, here in Fargo. Um, Bargains is a social media marketplace. It's a social platform where people are going to be able to post and comment and like and message each other, but also we're going to tie in businesses and be able to provide offers or coupons and other business promotions through the site. Uh, our schedule so far, we've completed one user story. We had a little bit of a slow start. Um, as a user, I want to be able to interact with other users by following them. So we do have a way for a single user to follow another user. We have a way to view the followers and view who you're following. And then we've also figured out how to use those relationships to show uh, what posts you want to see or eventually what messages you're going to see. Uh, in progress right now, we have two user stories. Uh, as a user, I want to have an activity feed. So we're going to have all of the posts go through this feed like you would on Facebook. Uh, Right now we have that up working, so it has a post, you can add an image, you can comment, you can reply to comments. We don't have a liking yet, and right now the second part of it is having, as a user, I want to be able to create a post. We don't have that quite working as admins. We can create posts, but not as a regular user. So we can see posts up there, but you can't create a post yet, so that's what we're going to finish working on in this sprint. And now Riley will talk about the project status. Thank you. Um, so right away we had to do a lot of research with Drupal. Drupal is a CMS and neither of us had a whole lot of experience using Drupal. Um, this included we had to research uh, the existing functionality on the website, the core of Drupal modules and the existing modules. This included how to configure these modules, how they interacted with other modules as well. Um, and we've also researched uh, modules to add to the site. We had to do a lot of research for the friendship module that we added. You have to be able to know how to use these modules and how they interact with the site, how they are displayed, and kind of what they um, do for the site. Um, also, structures are a very important part of Drupal as well. Views are a very powerful structure. There's blocks as well. These kind of display snippets of information on them, and they can be very useful. Think of them as like a sidebar. We had to look in how to um, display these blocks and kind of how to represent them. Menus as well was another thing. It provides basically link. Think of as a main navigation and it can link to other content. We want to be able to know how to use that, how to add content, and how to add the links as well. We also wanted to, uh, permissions is a big thing as well in Drupal. You don't want to give permissions to somebody that um, would cause uh, concern. You don't want them to add security vulnerabilities, but you also want to give enough permissions to the people so they can actually use the site and um, use the given functionality provided in it as well. And um, so we've also done some feature implementation. Um, we have added the friendship uh, module and this allows for users to follow another user. Um, this, we're going to need to use this in um, a lot of the website to add more functionality to it like the feeds and liking system. Um, we also have a basic chat system going on. It's not necessarily private chat, it's more like a room chat that you have, but you are able to message another user. They do have to be online for that as well. Uh, and so views, we have also created an activity feed. This displays the content um, that we have created already. Views are very powerful. They are basically the SQL queries. Um, and they're very useful and they can customize and display the content that you would like and content pages display the content and you use views to uh, display the content that you would like to see. Now with the status update we do have a little demo for you.
<coughs> okay, so this is the main page right here, and you can log in. We also have, you can create a business user account, you can create a regular user account, and you can also reset your password as well. Here you add your information, and that is what is displayed on your profile information when you log in right away. So right away, I will log in as myself, and we can show you some of the things we have added. All right, so right here, this is the basic page. This is the profile information I, ha I was talking about earlier. Um, that's kind of displays your name, your last name, and also orders of something that was added previously. Um, shows how long you've been a member for. On the right over here, we have a basic following system. This basically displays all the users that we have, and you are able to follow them um, as well. And so then up here, we have a few tabs, and these kind of can display um, who your followers are. So these are uh, people that clicked follow on me and you can also click and up view their profile information so this is where we're going to want to display some of the their posts and things like that as well and so then we also have following these are people that I have clicked on follow and that I am currently following I can show you if you click on follow and then you do have to refresh the page um, but you can see that I am now following capstone too as well and so then for the activity feed this is um, a couple of posts that uh, me and Carrie created. These are just teasers of the post. You can also click on their profile. Again, that will just uh, give you the information that they have. Um, there is a commenting system as well. But if you go to read more, it will show the whole post. Right now, those are just teasers. And this is the entire post. And it is quite large, so we didn't want to display the entire post, as you see about one uh, post at a time, almost. And so you can see that I have commented already here. I can delete, edit, and reply. So if I reply, you can just type hello. And if you go to save. It shows up as an indentation, as kind of like a thread. Um, and then you can also delete the comment as well. And you can also edit the comment. Um, and currently you can also have an image on there and we are looking to add a video but we had some issues with that and okay, we'll talk about that in a little bit as well and I believe that is everything we have to show you for this demo alright and now I will let Carrie talk about issues and risks uh, so the biggest issue we've had so far is messaging and that was one of the first user stories that we wanted to implement. And this was our big learning curve on Drupal modules. Uh, we decided we would each take a user story for a week and see what we could do with it. And I spent probably six hours one night just researching all of the modules and trying to install them, figuring out some didn't work, some did. Uh, we found that, that info.yml is a file that we need for Drupal 8, but a lot of the Drupal 7 modules don't have it. So when you try to install a module from Drupal 7 onto our site that's running on 8, it just doesn't let you install it. One big thing that I did was uh, I had one module that we already installed, found out that I couldn't view the in the message inbox and then found that was an open issue on that module and then I found another <coughs> private message that looked promising but then it didn't actually send any messages which was another open issue so then finally I worked with the sponsors a bit to find a mailing system that when I installed the module the entire site just stopped working and gave us that on all of our admin pages so we could see all of the stuff that you guys saw but we couldn't make any changes to the site because our admin stuff had been shut down for some reason. We still don't know why, um, but that's one of the biggest issues we've had. And there was one module with the video that he was talking about that he installed, and it did that on two of the admin pages. So we don't really know why it's shutting down certain pages sometimes and others other times. Uh, one thing we found a little difficult is navigating through Drupal's uh, configuration 
there's a lot of different views where admins can see a list of like the posts, but then there's also the view of what the post looks like and how to find the difference and what's this view and what's this view and the, where this block is. And so we've gotten a little more comfortable now figuring out where all of those are, but that still has given us a little bit of trouble. And our last issue we're going to talk about is version control and branches. We don't really have any version control on the site. There are daily backups, but we haven't really found them to be super useful yet. Um, and we don't have our own branches on the site. So if Riley is working on something, it's live as soon as he clicks save. And if I'm working on something, it could mess up whatever I'm working on. And then we, last night and this morning, as we were working on the posting and the activity feed, that happened a couple times where I changed something and then whatever he was working on stopped working because of what I changed, then he changed it back and then my changes weren't there anymore. And so it's, we've had to learn how to communicate very well at this point. Our user point story, our user story point analysis. So far, we've just done one point is one hour, which we found to be pretty useful on showing the rest of the team how much we're working on, what we're working on. So if we have six points for that week, we know we're probably going to spend six hours on the project that week. Um, we found we've been underestimating points because of all of this research and all these blocks. We may spend more time on a certain user story than we thought just because like the messaging it just stopped working and then we couldn't find anything or it took a little bit to get the site back up so um, and we've also found our points per sprint have been slowing a lot of the same reasons where I thought that the messaging was going to take one sprint but now it's taken two um, and yeah, so yeah uh, Riley will continue with our reflection. Um, so we feel pretty good using Drupal. We've been using it for about a month now, and we've gotten familiar with the interface that it has. I mean, there still are issues that we go through, but we generally know um, the core modules, the existing modules that we have as well. And then we know how to also research for future modules, kind of what we need to look for when looking at a future module. We also feel like we've had our issues pretty under control. We've had a lot of issues that we didn't foresee right away, but we've been trying to keep to stay productive by researching other modules or doing what we can on the website. We also try to let our sponsors know as soon as possible when we do have an issue, and they've been really great about fixing the issue as soon as possible and letting us know. So for our next steps, we want to really look into the profiles. We know what we want in a profile, but we want to be able to put that onto the site. This is getting the information from the user. We also want to be able to display the information from the user as well. This goes into, you have to again research maybe some modules, research existing modules on the site and the core of Drupal. But profiles are where you're going to be spending a lot of your time on yours and someone else's profile on the activity feed. And then also user definitions. There are different users, the business user and the regular user. We want to differentiate that on the website. Again, we know what, we, what the idea differences are, but researching to make the differences on the website as well. Also for the influencer, we want to be able to differentiate an uh, influencer from a regular user. We can do this maybe by a ranking system, a leveling up system but it's something that we need to look into. Also just user in, uh, feature implementation. Again, this is gonna go into researching different modules as well, but what we would want to add is uh, getting the videos working, maybe live videos, live uh, picture taking. We'd also want to just research more modules to add more feature implementation. All right, and then with that, do we have any questions at all? Is there a reason you're not using version We asked our sponsors on the first time if there was if we wanted to have a test site and a live site and we figured with it being like so from the beginning um, it wasn't really worth it and I'm not sure if 
Drupal has a way for us to create our own branches. We never really looked into it, I guess. It wasn't really something that we uh, wanted to spend time looking into. But. If somebody said, what's your confidence they could start selling this by the time the semester's ended? They could start selling it by the time the semester ended. We're looking, I mean, we're optimistic about how things have been going with this activity feed. It's been going so much smoother than the other user stories, so we're hoping that our, the number of stories we can start picking up on and getting more done. So we're hoping that we're going to have a nice full demo by the end of this. Maybe not every single imaginable feature that they've asked for, but a lot of the basic ones that will make this a successful app. We're really optimistic about having by the end of the semester. Really make it a, a social media marketplace. And we are getting more familiar with Drupal, so I feel like we are able to work a little bit more productive when we are on the site instead of trying to figure, okay, well, why isn't this working? Well, we've already done that, and so we kind of know why it's not working. What's been your favorite parts about working on the project so far? When you see what you've been working on actually finally work, I would say, and just being like, oh, I actually did it. You know, all that hard work last night and this morning actually paid off into something that you can see and it's almost tangible. I think I 